Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Problem number seven says 2x plus 3 over 5 equals x minus 7 over 2. So I'm going to follow the four-step plan. Step one is to eliminate fractions. There are fractions in this problem. I have a denominator of 5 and a denominator of 2. To eliminate fractions, I'm going to multiply both sides by the least common denominator of 5 and 2, which is 10. So I'll multiply the left side by 10 and the right side by 10. It may be easier if I put 10 over 1 so you can see it. Now I'm going to take 5 and ask myself, how many times does 5 divide into 10? That's 2. So I have 2 times the numerator, which is 2x plus 3. So I've eliminated the fraction on the left side. On the right side, I'm going to ask the same question. 2 divides into 10 how many times? And that's 5. So now I have 5 times the numerator, which is x minus 7. So step 1, eliminate fractions, is complete. Step 2, simplify sides. I have a distributive property on the left side and a distributive property on the right side. So 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 3 is 6. On the right side, 5 times x is 5x. And 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. So simplify sides is complete. Step 3, I'm going to add the opposites in order to isolate my variable terms on one side and my number terms on the other. I'm going to choose to add negative 4x to both sides first in order to keep my variable terms positive. 4x minus 4x is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6 on the left side. 5x minus 4x is 1x, or we could just write x. There's a hidden 1 in the front that we don't have to write, minus 35. I have to add the opposite of 35 then to both sides in order to isolate my numbers on the left side and my variable terms on the right side. So 6 plus 35 is 41 on the left side. Negative 35 plus 35 is 0. 0 plus x is x. So that step is done. Last step, divide by the coefficient to make it 1. And in this problem, the coefficient is already 1. And so my answer is 41 equals x.